Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to actually talk about some of the things that we need to do to get the cars ready to go for winter time. If you happen to live in a warmer climate like I do here in California, you don't really have to do this. This is more just covering it up just to protect it while it's sitting in the garage so it doesn't get really, doesn't get dusty. But some of you back, uh, back east, you guys are getting snow, rain, hail, all that nasty stuff, and you don't want your car out there. So you guys are going to tuck it away this winter. You're not going to get to drive it, which I feel bad for you guys. But what we're going to do today is we're going to go, we're going to take it down to the gas station um, and fill it full of fuel, and then we'll go from there. I've already washed the car today, so that you didn't need to watch because I'm sure all of you know how to wash a car. But um, So just in the steps we're going to go, we're just going to we wash the car. We're going to go now fill it full of fuel. And you can do that ahead of time if you want to do that. I just didn't, just my order of events today, I needed, it was easier to get it washed and then go get it, go put some fuel in it. But um, we're going to cover, putting a car cover on and I just got a brand new cover that was sent to me for a, for a review and we're going to go ahead and do that review in this video. So um, stay tuned and... Okay, so I'm here getting gas and I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill the tank. Uh, which will fill both both tanks because the Corvette's got a saddle tank and you want to make sure that they're full just because One of the re main reasons is because of the sensors uh, In the tanks the for the fuel gauge and for the pump itself that type of stuff if you store these these um, These tanks empty the sulfur in the gasoline can actually act on the sensors and actually corrode them and then that you start having problems which become very very costly uh, sometimes it can be two, three thousand dollars if you take it to the dealer and have them pull the, the sensors out and um, have them replace it because the rear transaxle has usually got to come out. Um, now, I don't know on the C7 if that's the case, but I know on my C6 that was, and I ended up having to do it myself, and it was a very, uh, very hard job to do. So when you're storing the car, you want to make sure that, um, that you have the tanks full. So um, we're just going to go ahead and fill it up and then we'll go ahead and we'll take it home and we'll get her covered up. So we just left the gas station. We're on our way back home and once I get her in the garage, uh, then I'll be going through a, um, uh, pulling out a new, new car cover that was uh, sent to me to do a, uh, a little bit of a um, review on. And so we'll be going through that showing that off and um all right so here's the package that we've got here um like i said the car cover company at anaheim california sent was gracious enough to send this to me to review it um i wanted my honest opinion of what i thought um of their covers and so uh, they shipped this one out to me a little while ago and I'm just now getting a chance to being able to do this video but um, just want to let you know that it's very well tightly um, tightly um, vacuum sealed so you're going to want to be really careful I've got a pair of scissors here that I'm going to just try to break the seal on it I want to make sure that I don't cut the the cover itself. Let's see if I can get some air into the bag. That seems to be pretty painless. If you notice I'm doing this, I have my garage happens to have a carpeted floor. Um, if you didn't if you didn't have a carpet floor, um, I would recommend that you take it in the house and you and you do it there. Um, you you don't want to get you don't want to get stuff all over the all over the cover, um, just for the simple fact that one it's going to mess up the cover, but number two that it's and primarily the reason is the fact that you're going to be putting this on your car, so you don't want to be getting any dirt and crap all over the car or all over the cover that's going to transfer over to the car. So I'm just now. I'm just going to open this little guy up.
So I'm getting a chance here to feel what it's like for the ins for the uh, for the inside for the first time, and it's a uh, looks to be a very breathable material. Um, pretty soft to the touch. All the stitching is all it's all smooth. These straps. Um, they're all done to the outside edge here, so they're not going to be scratching the car. Uh, also looks like it's got the pockets for the mirrors here. So we'll be able to find out exactly how the, which way it fits here. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for something that says the front. We've spun this around a few times and we finally came across a tag here. Uh, right at the very front, this is this will be the tag for the front, which uh, it's just a little white tag. Um, and I'm assuming that uh, UHD is for underhood. But um, according to the instructions, this will be the front end of the, the cover. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the car in and we'll, we'll uh, put it on and see how it fits. Okay, so we're back and we've got we've got the front of the, the car cover right here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to try to get this thing wrapped around um, the front. Again, here's our front tag right here. And what you can do is you can use these, these mirror pockets to help you with this. Get one of them into the, get one of the mirrors in, in there. And then you can come back around the other side here. And these have got a strap here. Makes it easy to strap it down so the wind isn't going to blow it off. See here, we're using, we're utilizing the mirror to be able to get the cover to stay pretty much where it belongs. So then we can go ahead and we can bring this down.
Okay, guys, we're back. I apologize for having to pull it into the garage and close the door, but the neighbor's gardener decided to show up, and his blower was so loud you weren't going to be able to hear me talk. So um, I went ahead and closed the garage door so you could kind of see what we've got going on here. Um, relatively easy to put on. We had that little white tag up in the very front. That is what showed what was the front of the car. And then we just went ahead and we got it all the way back to the mirror pockets. We put the mirrors in the pockets and then we went ahead and we pulled the cover all the way down. Uh, it's like a glove. Um, so I'm very happy with it. Um, that's, uh, I believe that it's well worth the money. Um, it's a, it looks nice. It feels nice. Um, very lightweight. So it's not very, not real bulky and cumbersome. So that's nice also. Um, it's also got, um, it's got the, as you can see here, I'm trying to zoom in so you can kind of see it. The material is very breathable, looks like, so it should be able to uh, prevent any mold or anything like that building up on the car, on the cover. As I want to say, though, you always want to, you know, you want to che check it periodically. You just don't want to leave a cover on the car for any length of time without checking on it. Um, a long, long time ago, I had a cover when I had a black car, and this is the years way when the infancy of clear coats, um, didn't, didn't check it. And it sat on there for three or four months. And when I pulled it off, it had a really like white milky, uh, uh, haze over the paint, which took a lot to get buffed off. So you just want to make sure that you, you know, you double check it, no matter how good the material is, you don't want to, um, you don't want to just leave it unattended. But uh, again, uh, I want to thank the Car Cover Company in Anaheim, California for sending this to me and um, letting me do a review. Um, I want to say that um, it looks like it's a very good product. They, it looks like they, did, they took their time to make sure that, uh, uh, that it fits real well. Um, those of you that uh, um, it, it fits very snug, as you can see, um, but there's also a little bit of room there. So in the event that somebody has bought their car for, you know, this is a Stingray, a Z51, and I'm going to be putting on an aero kit on this here very soon. And there is enough fabric there on the sides, um, even though it's it's uh, tucked underneath. Um, but there's the elastic is there, and there's enough fabric to be able to uh, accommodate for that. So it's not like you're going to have to run out and buy another cover just because you went ahead and put the arrow on it. So this is a very versatile cover and I think it will serve very well. So again, uh, thank you Car Cover Company for allowing me to do this and sending this to me. And I hope all of you guys, um, this was helpful in, um, in your endeavors of making sure that your car is protected in the winter time. And um, we'll talk to you later. If you like this video today, be sure and hit that subscribe button and that like button and be sure and hit that bell so then that way you'll be notified of our next uploads.